A worrisome weather trend for 2023. Illinois has so far been the Arsena, I should say, the most tornadoes in the U.S. and the most severe weather events. Let's check in with Emily for a special report. Emily. Yeah, that's right. There's a new trend storm chases are following, and it shows Tornado Alley isn't the only hotspot for this major weather event. One of the things that we were noticing is that there has been a decreasing trend, a decreasing number of tornadoes in the Great Plains, and then an increasing trend in places further to the east in the Mid-South and portions of the Midwest. Victor Gensini is a storm chaser and one of the first meteorologists to report a shift in the frequency of where tornadoes are touching down in the U.S. He's part of a team of weather experts that first noticed this trend in 2018. Five years later, they say it's still swirling. And so it was a very interesting trend. And then the issue comes how to explain that trend. We don't know. Uh, we think some of it's climate change. We think some of it is the central plains drying out, becoming a more desert-like arid climate, and places further to the west seeing more rainfall. The shift Gensini helped discover focuses on the number of EF2 and stronger tornadoes now occurring outside of the traditional tornado alley, places like northern Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Arkansas. So usually when a tornado happens in these areas east of the Mississippi River, we see more impact, more hazards, right? Because there's more people, there's more targets, there's more assets for these storms to hit. The tornado that tore through suburban Chicago in June 2021 was an EF3. It left a heavy trail of destruction in Woodridge and Naperville. This, the devastation here is it's unbelievable. You, it's one of those things you just don't expect it, you know, in your neighborhood. For Illinois, Gensini says it's seeing an increase of about three more strong tornadoes every decade. Tornadoes are relatively rare, right? And, and at any given point, say downtown Chicago, it's very rare to get hit by a tornado. But when you start aggregating over like a decade, an increase or two or three or four in a decade is actually a pretty big increase. What is really noticeable in Illinois, especially this year, is more EF0 and EF1 tornadoes. Well, they can still cause loss of life and property. In fact, there's several documented cases of EF0s and 1s causing casualties. A March 31st storm brought 16 low-level tornadoes across northern Illinois. All but one were EF1s or EF0s. Four people died and dozens were injured. That includes at least 40 concert goers who were at the Apollo Theater in Belvedere when an EF1 caused the roof to collapse. They acted quickly to remove debris from people because people were trapped under debris. So far this year, Illinois has seen at least 86 tornadoes on all levels of the enhanced Fujita scale. That's nearly double the number the state typically sees according to the National Weather Service. While the number of tornadoes we see each year is expected to keep increasing, Gensini says climate change will only be partly to blame. There's more assets for these storms to hit, and so as we go forward over the next 50 to 100 years, we will see, regardless of climate change, more and more tornado disasters because of this increase in the human footprint, the human built environment. Case in point, Gensini and his fellow researchers estimate if a tornado today took the same track as one did in 1990 through Plainfield, the damage would be 10 times worse. So if there are more existing homes and more low-level tornadoes happening, what can you do to make your house tornado resistant? Well, one of the biggest things that people could do right off the bat is look at their garage door. Uh, the garage is one of the most susceptible areas on a house. Dwayne Friend is a climate specialist with the University of Illinois Extension Service. He says garage doors can be the first point to give way on a house during a tornado because heavy winds can access it pretty easily. That's why he says having a garage door that is insulated is a good idea. That type of door is heavier and less likely to give way to strong winds. He also says there are hurricane-proof garage doors. The roof would be kind of the, the second thing that can go, and, and what will happen with the garage is as that garage fills up with air and that pressure increases, that's when the roof on the garage goes off. The good news is, is roofs have to be replaced on a regular basis anyway. Right? The typical design life of a roof may be 15 to 25 years. Mark Levitan is the lead researcher in the United States Commerce Department's National Windstorm Impact Reduction Program. He says when it's time to replace your roof, you should ask your contractor about taking these steps. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna put ring shank nails to hold the roof deck down better, and we're gonna put peel and seal tape on all of the joints. He says that tape will help keep water from damaging your roof. If possible, Levitan also suggests having your contractor use hurricane clips to reinforce the connection between the rafters and the top of the wall. 
Despite all that, Gensini says the most important tornado safety step you can take is this. I think it's really prepping yourself before prepping your home that really is the most important. Have a way to receive these watches and warnings and have a plan of action. And you can't wait for you know the house to be falling down around you before you take action. You need to know what to do when these situations occur. While we tend to focus a lot on tornadoes happening, especially during severe weather season, which is defined as April to June, the reality is a tornado can happen anywhere in the U.S. and it can happen at any time of the year. With us now well into July, the most recent numbers from the National Weather Service show Illinois has had 100 tornadoes so far this year. For more information on how to make your house tornado resistant, go to our website, fox32chicago.com.